Hi, today we want to show you the cryogenic application with our uh, Pulverizette 14 premium line converted to a cutting rotor and the advantages of cryogenic grinding with a cutting mill. We want to grind these polymers with the help of liquid nitrogen and uh, the small volume cyclone separator into micro range. These polymers like to stick or melt when they are grinded with high energies. Therefore, they need to be embrittled. We use liquid nitrogen to embrittle the sample. Very important is that this whole step is done pretty quick because any moisture from the environment might be a negative effect to the sample. Because of the low density of this plastic sample, it might happen that these particles will jump around all over the surface. It is necessary to choose a deep vessel. The whole embrittlement step should be repeated more times to make sure that the temperature of these particles is at least minus 180 degrees or even lower. For the grinding step, it is very important that the whole rest of liquid nitrogen is evaporated and no rest of liquid nitrogen is in this vessel. Any residue of the liquid nitrogen which will be transferred to the mill for the grinding process might lead to an explosion. The sample is now brittle enough, so we are ready for the grinding. We will choose the maximum RPM which is allowed for our cutting rotor and we would use the safety lid for this funnel because the cryogenic grinding of polymers or plastic might cause a kind of evaporation of these very light density particles which might spring around or fly around the surface. To avoid this, we fix our safety lid for the funnel. If necessary, make sure you wear safety gloves and also glasses. Working with liquid nitrogen might be dangerous. Now we can start the grinding. For our application, we use the small volume cyclone separator as a passive tool. This small volume cyclone separator could also be used as an active tool, which is very useful for cleaning the instrument, transport the particles and cooling down the sample, which is very important for plastic samples. As you can see, there are no residues on the sieve shells and higher quantity can be grinded. This was a successful grinding with a Pulverizette 14 premium line with a cutting rotor. We can recommend for this sample this application setting because there is no sticking and no melting of the sample. The particle size we achieved for this sample is approximately 200 microns because this was the sieve size we used. But in fact, the sample is finer. Thank you for your attention. Thanks for watching and goodbye.